short-term forecast for Sault Ste. Marie. At 11 a.m., cloudy, isolated showers. Temperature 51. Northwest winds 14 miles per hour. At 1 p.m., cloudy, scattered showers. Temperature 52. The lone boat here at the Bondar Marina holds three Northern Ontario men who are chasing summer all the way from Thunder Bay to the Caribbean. What's happening, boys? We just finished laying the last piece of uh, balsa core in. Merrick is here in the Sioux right now, but you're heading out pretty soon on your venture to the Bahamas. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, in about two hours, or as soon as we're all finished up here, we're going to clean up the boat and head over to Camp Marina, which is just across the river here. And uh, from then on, we're going to be traveling down Lake Michigan towards Chicago and uh, heading on down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico or ground to Florida into the Bahamas. And this trip started in Thunder Bay. How long did it take you to get to Sault Ste. Marie? <clears throat> well, it took us about three months to restore the boat. And then when we actually finished, it took us about 40 hours to cross Lake Superior um, to get here. And uh, during the way, we had some failures on the boat, small ones, but we still made it. So. Um, yeah, over the last four days we've been here at the uh, Bondar Marina and uh, yeah, we've just been repairing the boat and now we're ready to go. So we're going to clear customs, fuel up, get water and head on down the, down the way. And how long do you think the journey will take from here until your destination? It's probably going to be another two months to get to the Bahamas. We're going to take our, well, there's a good nice weather window opening up on Lake Michigan right now. So we're probably going to head to maybe Sheboygan or something, get as south as quickly as possible. And, uh, but yeah, about two months to the Bahamas. We're gonna take our time as soon as we get to Chicago. Yeah, you're facing some interesting challenges here. You're leaving in November. What are the specific uh, challenges that you might face along the way sailing at this time of year? Well, typically everybody knows the story about the Edmund Fitzgerald and stuff like that. November gales are blowing, just like the song says. So that's what we're trying to avoid. When I said we're trying to get as south quickly as possible, that's we're trying to avoid those gales and get nice weather windows and take advantage of them. So we'll sail throughout the night, 24 hours a day, if the weather's nice and hunker down on anchor at a dock if it's windy and uh, yeah, <laughs> November weather, it's not too nice. What is the most uh, difficult part of the trip that you see coming up? <clears throat> well, uh, definitely crossing Lake Superior and Lake Michigan is gonna be the hardest part weather-wise and big seas-wise. Uh, we have to take our mast down in Chicago and motor down the Illinois River. And besides that, there's apparently huge barges that go down the Mississippi River, so you can't really sail at night. So we're going to have to dodge those as we're going and uh, hopefully smooth sailing from there. Where did you guys come up with this idea? How did you decide you're going to chase summer? <clears throat> I was working in a remote reserve in northern Ontario for the last couple of years, and uh, the winters are really cold up there, and I had a boat, and I love sailing. I've been sailing my whole life, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fix up this boat that I bought from my dad. And uh, we're going to head down south to the Bahamas. Everyone else is doing it. We should do it too. <laughs> and once you arrive, how long do you hope to stay? Uh, in the Bahamas, we'll be there for about two months. And uh, I don't have to be back in Thunder Bay till April. So I guess good. that makes it worth the trip, right? You get a couple months yeah, in paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's an adventure. I get to hang out with my brother Knowles and one of my good friends, Lucas, and just have a good time, gain some experience, and live life. Are you going to be checking in with your parents often? We actually have a tracker, so anybody could message us and we could send messages by text or email at any time through satellite. So uh, you could follow us online. We have a website and Facebook and all the social media. So um, they message us regularly and uh, we tell them that we're still alive and they're happy with that. Okay, that's a good plan. You're very easy to follow. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. So good luck and enjoy the Bahamas. Thanks. Uh, if I can, I'd just like to say uh, follow summersaltsail.ca Sa summer is our website and Summersalt Sailing on Facebook. You can get our tracker on there, follow it live. We update it every half hour automatically. So you could follow us along on the map and send us messages whenever you want. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, good luck. We'll be following your journey. Thank you. Reporting for Sue Today, I'm Jasmine Rowley.